This video will show you how to enter in waypoints uh, onto your uh, Garmin GPS Map 76 series or 78 series. Um, there's two ways to enter waypoints. You can enter in your current position or if you want to plan a trip um, then you can put in future location uh, waypoints, distant location waypoints from your current position. And there's two ways to do that. Um, so here we are. Uh, let's go to the map view. I live at Sylvan Lake. Um, what we'll do is uh, we'll uh, chart a, we'll enter in some waypoints around Sylvan Lake. Uh, so what we can do, we can zoom in. Uh, if we want to enter uh, Sylvan Lake as a waypoint, our current position, uh, what you do is you just hold the enter button down. Eventually it'll come up. It'll show a number one here. You just hit OK and there's our waypoint. But if we want to enter in a different location, so we can use the uh, cursor to move the map around the lake. And let's say we want to put a waypoint there. Perhaps we're doing an ocean cruise and that would be one of the first waypoints we'd want to target uh, and have a bearing for on the, in the morning of the trip. So the way you do this, instead of holding the enter button down, which is also the marquee, you just um, push it very quickly, like that. And then what you do is you come over here and you go save. And then you give it a name up here. Hit enter. So we'll just call it uh, SL1 maybe. There we go, there's our first point. And we will go OK. And then that is actually saved. And now we go into, we can go look at our map view. And there's SL1. And of course, there's our first waypoint marking our current position. Let's go to um, put in another waypoint here, perhaps halfway down the, the lake. And you can use this anywhere. This method anywhere. Again, a quick tap. There we go. Right over here, go save. And we'll edit the description again. We'll go uh, S L. Oh, sorry, I should clear that first. Okay, and we'll go try again. Uh, just to be consistent, I'll use the same naming convention. And there's SL2. We'll go OK. And then we come down here go to our map view and now we can see we have the original point SL1, SL2 and uh, you can just keep doing this methodology uh, entering in waypoints for locations other than your current position using the map uh, cursor. And I hope you found that useful.